Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. Today we are back with E6 Connect and we're hooked up to the FlightScope Mevo Plus. I had a lot of people sending me some messages asking about a little more of the practice session inside of E6 because I talked about it in a few of the videos and I didn't really demonstrate it. And so I wanted to take a few minutes today to just kind of show you guys the features of in play practice so it's on course practice essentially okay and just kind of how that works how i use it and uh, what you can do with it to you know be out on a hole or your favorite hole and you know you can repeat practices uh, whether it be just a single shot or several shots and go back to where you want to be it's a really cool feature so i wanted to show you guys that today if you have not had a chance to subscribe to the channel please do over a hundred videos of golf simulator related content and a ton more to come i always encourage everybody to comment below let me know what you think about this video ask any questions and then let me know what you want to see in the future it's just like this video today several people asked about the in uh, play practice mode on e6 connect and that's why i'm here showing it to you so please comment below and let me know what you think so let's go ahead and get started i'm just going to go ahead and shrink my camera down to the lower right there we go and we will first off go into play golf all right i already have my username logged in so we're good to go there i'm just going to go to normal stroke play i figured we would use cabo uh, i found this to be a really cool course i mean it has some on uh you know ocean whatever you want to call it waterfront you know holes which are really cool and uh definitely wanted you guys to see that so i figured it'd be a good one to to pick so um first thing i want to do is go into settings now here's an interesting thing that I've found out because people a lot of times want to like hit their tee shot, maybe even hit their approach shot and go back to the same tee. And they thought that wasn't possible, but I figured out a way that's pretty easy. Unless you're sinking, you know, approach shots, you can just select player putts out. Okay. And so what this is going to do is, is once you select that, you can go through the rest of your settings, which I pretty much have the way I want. Green speed eight, green uh, hardness, moderate's fine. I play hard a lot. We try to eliminate that, that uh, spin back. Um, so we should be good there. We'll play that partly cloudy sunset. That's fine. It's kind of a cool look. And then we'll go to selected holes. I'm going to trash them all. Now, here's an interesting thing that I've been showing people that you may not have seen yet. So when you actually, you know, select your hole, you can preview it down in the lower right. So if I don't like what I see, all I have to do is, is skip ahead. So number six is one of those oceanfront courses like I was talking about. So we're going to select that. There's another one. And let's see here. One here, 11, 12, 13. I know there's another couple in here. Let's see. But see how easy it is just to scroll through these? I mean, it's super easy. There's a cool one. Check out that par three right here. All right, so um, that's the one I was talking about right here, 17. That's really cool. So let's just grab those three holes, throw them up here, and go to tee off. All right, so... Here we are on this tee. Now here's an interesting thing that I found. I play from the blue tees, which most of the online players do. So this would generally be my shot, but let's say I wanna work on some different stuff. Well, I can go into the, you know, tap your little E6 cube down there. I can go into practice mode, hit the ball in the lower right. It might be uh, covered up by my camera, but I mean, it's pretty easy to kind of see that lower, lower right ball. You won't miss it. All right, then now I'm in practice mode. So I can move my ball all the way over to this tee without having to go into my profile and actually adjust it. I can just hit my check mark and it's 136 yards. Let's say that I wanted to move it just a little bit and make it a little more or a little less. It's that easy to do, all right? And so now I'm essentially practicing from this position, okay? And then I could practice approach shots from a different position or I could tee off and I'll show you that and then go back so let's just go ahead and hit this shot really quick it's 136 yards um, that's kind of an in-between for me I'm gonna hit a nine iron and that's what it shows here let's see all right let's go ahead and line up here I'm playing as always with the metallic dot for full swings had several questions because I talked about marked balls, you know, because people read that in the uh, material that was released. Um, I verified with the engineers 
full swing metallic dot. That's for the best accuracy and spin reading. Putting, no metallic dot. Simple as that. It's the same as I've been talking about since the beginning. I just think there was a little confusion because it said it was okay to play with marked balls. Um, but I verified with the engineers that uh, you want to play full swings with the metallic dot, putting, no metallic dot. All right, so let's just go ahead and hit one of these. That was a terrible shot on my part. I hit that really thin. I think it's going to be okay. There we go. Cool. And then it's going to bring me back, all right, right where I'm at. I didn't like that shot. Let's hit another one. There we go. That was much better. The problem is it's probably going to go too far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I didn't even think about, you know, being in between. I just went after it. Okay, so let's try one more. So how cool is this? I have a totally different hole than I'm used to playing. A distance that I selected. That one should be okay if it's gonna draw. Oh, it didn't draw though. Ah, well, at least we got some demonstrations there. And so at any point in time, all I have to do is go down into my cube again and practice. And there we go. I'm back on the tee box. Okay. So I could also go into practice mode, take my ball. All right. Move it up here. You can jump way ahead. All right. Let's say I wanted to work on, you know, short chipping because I'm always coming short on, uh, on my approach shots and I'm ending up with these 33 yard, you know, chips all the time. Well, check it out. I can go right up here on this hole and just do 33 yard chips. Okay. A little too far on that one. Let's try that again. Figured this would be a good demonstration for the flight scope Mevo plus reading a bunch of different shots as well. Should be a little better. Oh, I still got some heat on it. I need to slow this thing down. You know, it's a common mistake of mine when I look at a distance and I just get up and hit it. I mean, really, this needs to be short because you're going to get rollout. And a lot of times I go to hit that shot for the actual distance. But look at the rollout you're going to get. That's what you want to do. You want to land it and let it roll up. Depending on your chip, of course, you might be, you know, getting it way up higher and it might be not rolling out as much. Just depends on your style of, you know, approach shots and, and chipping. So now let's say you've had enough of this. You can either play your hole by hitting end practice. Okay. It's going to put you back on that tee or you can go to, doo -doo -doo. let's go to next hole. All right. And now here we are in our next hole, 158 yards. And I can do a couple different things here. I can hit my one shot and then come back and practice it. All right. I could skip forward and do approach shots. You can do a lot of different things. Um, the reason that I always do uh, player force to put out because depending on where I'm at, it keeps me on the hole rather than give me a gimme if I'm too close. And that way I can practice what I want to. But check out this hole. I mean, how cool is this thing? Now that's 155 yards. Um, let's go ahead and just hit this shot. I'm gonna show you guys how to go back as well if you want to. So let's do an eight iron. It's a little uphill. Try to focus a little more on my swing rather than just telling everyone what I'm doing uh, in the game. See if I can actually get a decent shot off here. Oh, I pulled the heck out of it. Just pulled the heck out of it. Oh, look at this. Oh, ho, ho. David Hasselhoff on the beach. Not good. Not good at all. 
I felt that the minute I hit it. And that's been my miss lately. So check this out. Now you have a couple things to do. One, I think it's hilarious that you can flop that thing up there. Um, I feel like we should almost try that really quick, okay? <laughs> I mean, we're out here practicing. Why would we not try to flop this thing up 45 yards? I mean, this is great. You guys have seen the, the pros do this in Pebble Beach down, uh, down on the beach and stuff. I mean, this is a riot. Oh, look at that. It touched because I did, you know, I, I tried to lift it up as much as I could. I mean, you saw how far uphill that was. I mean, that thing was, you know, 30 feet even to the edge and it hit and rolled on. Hey, you know, what? that's that's not bad. I'll, t I'll take that just for stabbing at it really quick. So now let's say I want to go back to the tee and try some more shots. Well, check this out. I can do it in practice mode if I want to. Okay. Now I don't, don't get me wrong. You could just go back uh, very easily. Let's just twist this around. Let's just, whoops. It wants you to go back uh, with the aim button. That way you know where you're going. Okay, here we go. That's that. There we go. Hello. Hello. There we go. And I can even move the ball afterwards. I was moving my aim and, my, and the ball. So sorry to kind of throw you guys in a circle there. You're probably like, what the heck is he doing? But now, even after playing that hole, let's say I wanted to go back and practice something. Could be something else. You know, it could be the same shot. Um, you could use mulligans to go back. You can move around freely. But I really wanted to just demonstrate the practice mode. You'll have to get used to it, just like I was there a little bit. Obviously, uh, you know, it's it's a lot lot going on there to move around, and it doesn't want you to place the ball. Uh, and I and you can use the map as well. So if I go to ball, I think you can. Okay, so here we are in the map, and I can actually. Let's see here. Go there. So it let me put the ball there. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't think it'd let me do that. Oh, check out this. This is the layup spot right here. So you can look at the map. I'm actually uh, touching it on the screen though. So when I'm touching the screen, it's moving the ball. Okay. And then if I want to aim the other way, I'm just going to go on the screen. Okay. I'm going to hit the ball and then I'm going to hit the tee box back there. All right. So that's probably the easiest way to do it. If you're looking to, and then look at, I'm actually just moving on here. I don't even know where I was in that last one, but that's probably the easiest way to do it is to hit your ball, okay, uh, after you aim where you want to drop your practice ball, okay? Um, now I'm right back where I was. So, you know, maneuvering around is actually pretty easy, you know, depending on what you want to do. This is also a very unique hole. So this has a lot of rock where you can't drop the ball. When you're out on a fairway, it's a huge, I mean, you could just skip right down the fairway, anywhere that's playable, really. Heck, you could go down in the sand because it lets you do that. That would be interesting. Go back and uh, practice that flop shot. So I just have a pitching wedge in my hand. I'm just gonna try to uh, see if I can get one decent shot here. I mean, that has to be better. Did I go too far? Oh man, I overcooked it. Little spin. Hey, that's not bad. I'll take that. It wasn't too bad. I'll put out for you guys really quick and then we'll uh, wrap things up. So definitely want to make sure that everybody drops a comment and lets me know. Uh, I need to end practice. Um, let's me know what they think of, uh, you know, the practice mode. Um, what's interesting is, is I, it has me here, and yet it shows me on the green only being 40 feet out. So it almost like it kept my view. Oh, I may have found a little bug here. That's all right, though. If I entered practice and maybe exited practice again. There we go. So I actually had to tap my map to bring me to my putt. 
that is probably something that uh, I will report to E6. That's uh, interesting, very interesting. Yeah, I just want to make sure I've got everything right here. Hey, that's uh, that's good to know though. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and I, 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 if you guys ever get stuck, that's a perfect solution right there. I tapped my map for to re-aim, and then I was uh, I was all good after that. Pushing my soft strike mat down as usual, just so I don't have any obstructions for putting. 40 feet, seven inches downhill. Probably gonna hit it like just over 30. Oh, it has me on pitching wedge. No wonder. So it looks like when you bounce back and forth, this is something just to be aware of. And I haven't run into this a lot, but I mean, man, I was skipping all over the place. I, I don't normally skip around that much, you know, but I wanted to demonstrate, you know, how to navigate to you guys. Um, be careful. You could be stuck on pitching wedge, even though I'm on the green. Okay, so that might be something that we also let E6 know about. They're constantly releasing updates and enhancements. They do listen. You can just open a support ticket. Well, that might be a little too hard. Let's see. Oh, it hit the cup. I just, I hit it too hard. That was my own fault. I knew it was too hard the minute I hit that ball and I had it, I had it square. All right. Let's try to get this one in the hole. Tell me what you guys think about the graphics in the on ocean, uh, you know, the ocean front hole. Nine feet. Can that make it? All right, not bad. I was worried I didn't hit that hard enough at first, but um, so that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Uh, definitely want you to leave a comment below. Comment any questions you have about navigating. Obviously, I mean, I'm still getting used to it. You can see how I kind of, you know, got stuck a little bit there. I haven't navigated on this type of, you know, surface, uh, you know, yet. I've, I've been doing it more on the open courses where there's open, you know, fairways and everything. So this was actually a little bit of a learning experience. And I think we have some good feedback to send to E6 uh, as far as the navigation and how when you flip back and forth, uh, like that one time, it didn't put me on the green, but all I had to do is tap the map and then there I was. And that shows you how when you exit practice mode, then it puts you on that next shot. So I just wanted to let everybody understand that you can do it in any order you want. You could go where you want, you could go back where you want, you could play it out, you can move the ball back after. And then if you have it on putt out, then unless you sink it in the hole, you could always go back. So that's a little, you know, tip. That way, if you're moving on to the next hole, um, you know, you wouldn't be able to go back, you know, something to consider. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. I appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll talk to you soon.